when it comes to commercial poultry farming, constructing a good poultry house is very important for the success of your poultry farming business. Just the same way you pay close attention to construction of the house you live in, you should also pay attention to the construction of your poultry house because the poultry house houses the best, protects them from predators, prevents direct effect of harsh weather condition on them, and also helps limit their movement, like con keeping them within a confinement. So whether you are trying to build a new poultry house or you are trying to improve on the one you already have, this video is going to help you by showing you the features a basic poultry house should have, especially if your poultry house happens to be a deep litter system. For illustration purpose, I'll be using a poultry we recently constructed at Valleyside Livestock and hope you get the point on how to construct yours. It is a well-known fact that the sun rises from the east and sets in the west, while the north and south serves as the direction of the wind. With that in mind, the orientation of this poultry house is constructed to be rectangular in shape, with the smaller axis facing the east and west direction, while the longer axis faces the north and south direction. The logic behind this is to avoid overheating of the poultry house by the sun rays. Due to the topography of the land is flat and there is no risk of water flowing into the poultry house. The foundation is just a block deep into the ground and a second one above the ground surface. The floor is made with concrete about 4 inches high to prevent the birds from scratching their way to the soil. The surface is not too rough to avoid bruising the birds foot if they eventually make their way past the wood shavings that would be used for their bedding and not too smooth to avoid slippery floors. Due to this poultry house is constructed in the northern part of Nigeria, which is known to be hot, the side walls were made dwarf and constructed with zinc to a height of about two blocks and then the rest of it was covered with net to prevent other birds and flies from coming in and at the same time allowing cross ventilation and air movement. The poultry height is nine feet from the ground to the tambin for better ventilation. The roof is held in place by a strong 3x3 three three mereke wood which is casted deep into the ground before the flooring. The roof king post height is 7 feet high from the tambin to enable the received air circulate better within the poultry while giving a better distance that would prevent the sun heat radiating from the zinc from reaching the base thereby making the house cool at all times. And also the roof was constructed with an aluminum zinc for better heat conduction and it has a little monitor roof on top. For the lighting, we installed a 50 watt solar panel on the roof outside and connected it to a charge controller and then to the battery. The solar system has no inverter as we intend making use of only DC bulbs. The poultry is covered with a tarpaulin which has rings connected to a strong rope for easy sliding to prevent rain and sun from coming in and also it has buckles by the edges to clip them together in such times. The poultry house has a nipple drinker system suspended above the ground with binding wires with more than 400 nipples to make water easily accessible to the beds and for easy management for the farm attendant. The nipple drinkers can be raised or lowered to the ground at way too. And also we have locally constructed feeders which will be suspended with the aid of binding wires alongside the drinkers. The poultry house has a food dip at its entrance for feet sanitization and we try to be creative with the water disinfectant outlet using a bowl gauge. This poultry can take up to 300 matured broilers, but for the start, we may be putting 250 broilers because we have already spent most of the first set budget on construction. That's it for this video. I'll be documenting all the process involved in rearing broilers from day old to maturity on this channel. So do well to subscribe if you have any question or concern about this video. Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section. And also, I'll be giving a shout out in my next video to the first person who comments on this video. Thanks for watching.